Hey guys, I'm Mike, and welcome to my third um, personal best, and also new world record. Actually, so I uh, I lost it this uh, this morning. Um, there was a guy that, that I think he called Miasma, and he got 526, which is um, pretty good. It was 14 seconds quicker than my uh, my old PB, and of course uh, I uh, I didn't I didn't like that. Was uh, well, it wasn't very nice. Well, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> he did a great job, and he deserved to be, of course, the uh, the number one, at least for that, for then. Because now I got this new speed run. Um, I haven't checked the time, but I believe it's sub five minutes, and I'm really happy with it. I didn't take a lot of damage. I had a great character, and if I'm ever gonna speed run again, I'm gonna make sure that I get this kind of character. Now, um, here I got really lucky with the bugs. I got two ice bugs, which is what I want. Ice is the best um, sword to get. So yeah, what I did this run was just improve on not taking damage. And uh, the other thing was improve boss battle even more to make it really efficient. And also I was really mad <laughs> during this run because I have been like trying for two or three hours um, before this run and I just every time the last dungeon killed me or or like I I was at the final boss I dashed away and then ran into a tower f uh, tower guy or like the worm I don't know what he's called the one that pops up like suddenly here I get the Twihander on that chest which was also really lucky and I think that's the main two time savers so I just got lucky on the bug and the, on the Twihander and uh, I improved the boss. So uh, here I combine the, the stuff to make the sword and basically from here on out it's just going in as quick as I can without taking too much damage. Um, so yeah I uh, Almost got hit there by that pirate. I don't know how much he does. I think I believe four, so I wouldn't have died, but I would have died later on because I take some damage uh, in the dungeon. Because I don't know, it's it's so hard. Um, the, like the dungeon, you have to be really, really lucky to not get hit whilst trying to be quick. I mean, if you take it s slowly, then I guess it's possible. But even then, it's sometimes really hard. Sometimes you have to dash through like exactly right, or at the exact moment. So, yeah, I tried to do <laughs> do that in this run. Didn't work out that well. Got hit, but I didn't die luckily. Um, again, choosing Velt because it's because it's good and simple. I don't like the terrain in Velt though. It always goes like down or really far up. Like sometimes you have that. Most of the time you have to go down, but it's better than forest, that's for sure. So here's the dungeon. Luckily I get health from the potion. If I wouldn't have uh, gotten health, I would have died here. So here's where I take damage. I didn't, like, i I seen a route now, but when I was playing, I, I didn't see that. So here I was really <laughs> afraid and still mad that, like, I was expecting, like, right now to get hit by a worm. So what I did was slowly walk, and I, there we go, there was a worm. Um, so yeah, I take out these uh, two dudes. I take the attack. I got the shield, which, well, I, I don't use. I mean, if I ever got in a bad situation, I could have used it and then probably survived. Um, so it was good backup, but I'd rather have the, um, the attack up. And that's the only thing, I guess, where you could improve this run on. Uh, so yeah, I just started hitting him, and then went down. Uh, I didn't want to get hit by a worm, so I started quickly uh, spamming my uh, W and S to uh, not get hit by a worm. So here I went up, because I saw that if I went down there I would be stuck. Probably wouldn't have the time to kill him. I checked back, just in case of a worm dude, but there wasn't a word worm dude. <laughs> I guess I'll just call him worm dude. So yeah, I did some more hits on him. And there we go, that's it. That's uh, 4.56, I guess. So I'm 
yeah, I'm really happy with the time, and uh, that's it, I guess. Thanks for watching.